automating your mock-up creation process for your t-shirt store can be a game changer. However, things can get frustrating when your design collection consists of various sizes and aspect ratios. Whether you're using platforms like Canva, Photoshop, My Designs, Printful, or any automation script, the challenge of dealing with multiple design sizes and aspect ratio only adds to your frustration. In this detailed video tutorial, you will discover the best way to tackle different design sizes and aspect ratios. Whether it's a circular design or a design with landscape orientation or a design with portrait orientation, you'll learn how to ensure that the design always fits perfectly on your t-shirt mockup. I'll show you how to effortlessly create mockup templates, add realism in your designs, and use those templates to automatically generate hundreds of t-shirt mockup in just a few minutes. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So the template, I have three images, the design over here in white color, and the same one we have over here as black color. The design files that we have, uh, they are of mixed uh, dimension. Uh, some are quite thin rectangles, uh, some are squares, some are circles. And we need to create an automation that supports all this different design elements. So uh, let us jump to the other templates that we have. So we have this template. Let me open all three of them. Now, before we add our design files, just go grab this rectangle tool and we'll create a rectangle of the shape. I'll create a rectangle this big. I'll change the stroke to none and fill to maybe we'll change the color. Uh, we'll have it blue or you can have any other color. I uh, will right click and click on convert to smart object. Perfect. Now press Ctrl D or Command T. Uh, then we'll resize this rectangle to fit in the print area of this hoodie. Uh, do not worry about the dimension as of yet. Uh, we'll just take care of that as well. So make sure the rectangle fits the maximum print size that we have on the hoodie. Once done, hit on editor. We'll rename it to add the red design. Uh, next, we'll duplicate this onto the other two files. Black t-shirt. Uh, green t-shirt mountains. Okay. We have this design added smart object layer. We'll double click and open this smart object. And over here, we'll add our design file. So we'll grab any of the design. Uh, let me grab the white design. This black one only shows uh, which design we want to place. Maybe we'll try with this one FRD lifestyle PNG. Okay, so I'll grab this RD lifestyle PNG. We'll drag it and place it over here. Uh, we'll drag it, it onto the top. Make it big and we'll turn this off and press Ctrl S to save it. And this is how the designs look, right? Uh, this looks fake in terms of the color is not being placed properly onto the t-shirt. Uh, and to add some shadow and highlights on the top of this, press Ctrl J and duplicate this background layer. Move it out to the top, right click, create clipping mask. I uh, will go to image, adjustment, desaturate. Now uh, once it is done, we'll change the blending mode to hard light. And then we'll press Ctrl L. And play with the slider to bring about the shadows highlights. So whenever you're satisfied, just hit on OK. So there's a lot of improvement you could see on the mockup. Uh, so if I turn this layer off, this is what it looks. When I turn on this layer, this is what it looks. So our template is pretty much uh, done. I'll press Ctrl S and this will save this template. Next, we'll go to this black t-shirt flag. Now this is tricky. Why this is tricky? Let me go back. 
uh, turn this on i save it so you could look this strap of the hoodie uh, it follows the artwork so maybe in this case you know the artwork there are enough negative space so that we cannot see anything but uh, the other design it could interfere so what we'll do i uh, will go back reduce the opacity here and uh, and then we'll try to make a selection to to make a selection and i'm going to grab this pen tool and i'll make a selection with this pen tool uh, there are some tutorials on youtube you could look out for how to use pen tool a uh, pen tool helps you to make the perfect selection for any object in photoshop so i'll make this selection hit command enter if you're in mac and control enter if you're in windows uh, then select this design and click on this mask uh, before i click on this mask button layer mask uh, just make sure you press d on your keyboard uh, this will set the original colors as black hit on mask and now uh, select this mask and press command i or control i okay so what this does uh if you look at this splice the black region is omitted only the white space has uh, shows on the design okay we'll go back change the opacity to 100 uh you could see how the hoodie straps are being visible right i'll go back and turn this color control s to save it uh there you have it to add some realism Uh, this is perfect, I guess, and then we'll save this template. We have three templates already, and uh, now we'll run bulk mockup onto this and see how the output is generated. Now, before we do that, you need to understand the complexities of the designs that we have here. Okay, the, uh, these are some circle, right? Uh, these are horizontal. We have circles. We have rectangles. We have verticals. uh so you could do two things so let me explain you what we could do and how we should go about i'll open one of the templates maybe this one uh so we have bulk mockup and with the bulk mockup uh, we have different resize methods and alignment options so you could see we have a replace content then we have fit canvas stretch uh fit canvas without cropping fit canvas cropping the extra constraint by height constraint by width do not resize uh in this case we want to select this one the second option which is fill canvas fit to canvas without cropping uh because this design files we do not want to you know make any adjustment or stretching on the designs so we'll select fit to canvas without cropping now If we go to settings and then design layer, uh, we have this option align to canvas if applicable. Uh, what does this mean is if I open this canvas, smart object canvas, uh, this is the canvas, right? And where do you want your designs to be placed? These are the design files, and this one uh, is the canvas. So if we want this design, how do you want this to be placed? You want this to be placed uh, something like this, right? Or We have a different design. Uh, we want this to be placed over here and on the top, I guess, isn't it? So we need to smartly use this align to canvas option, okay? And then we need to decide how we want to run this mockup action. So if you look at the design, uh, one placement that I think should work for all the design. uh is using this alignment option this aligning the designs on the top and then it will fill the entire canvas something like we did over here fd lifestyle if i press control t the canvas i mean the design size is only up to this mark but it has been top aligned and it looks perfectly on this t-shirt so looking at this a uh, designs that we have i think uh, uh this is the best option to go however uh these designs shark png palm tree and then asset 178 asn 179 uh, this will be placed at the center so 
if you want, I mean, let us take this FR DOM up and down and the, let us take this design. So if you want this designs to be at the center, uh, this is fine. I mean, uh, this is fine. But if you want this to be placed at the left part of this design element, uh, something that comes over here. Uh, in that case, we might select these option, right? Uh, the top left corner or maybe top right corner. Anyways, uh, we'll have it uh, selected as at the center, right? Uh, it depends upon all your preferences that you have. So uh, you could use any of the align option and to add another element over here. Uh, some designs I think are meant for embroidery. So if you want to create an embroidery effect or embroidery template, I think uh, uh, just like I create a rectangle initially and cover the entire t-shirt, uh, maybe you could just uh, create a rectangle and cover this pocket area where the embroidery would sit and follow the same steps. So for the embroidery or if you want our designs to be placed onto the pocket, uh, we need to create a different uh, smart object templates following the same steps, right? I think uh, we have our design files ready and let us jump to Photoshop and start generating our mockups. So first option is the PST template folder. We have templates, uh, then we have the design folder. Uh, we have design black, but we'll select designs, the white one that we have, right? And then for the export, we'll create a cube folder and name it as export. Hit on open. Uh, fit to color without cropping. Then we'll go to settings. Uh, we do not want the designs to be scaled. We want this to be placed on the top. Perfect. No resize to guides and align to guides. Uh, then we go to PSD template. Uh, do not resize. Then we go to export. And then we have folders. Uh, how we want our designs to be exported? Do you want uh, to be exported in the all-in-one folder? I think we should go with design file. Uh, if we go with design file, uh, this will create subfolder for all the designs and all the three mockups will sit there. So we'll select design file. Uh, next, we'll go to files and we want JPG, the quality to be 12. This is perfect. Uh, naming, we want PSD mockup file name and design file name. You could preview the uh, file name here. PSD mockup name and then art for file name. Perfect. Uh, there's no need for preferences. Okay. Now let us click on start generating and we'll see the magic. So, bulk mockup has springed into action and it is placing the designs and it's creating subfolders for each of the design. So we have 47 folders. It will create 47. Okay, we jumped into an error. Uh, this is pretty nice. I could uh, help you identify the error, why this error occurred. So I think if I go to this design folder, I'll change this name to list. And I could see there are spaces at the name. And because of the spaces, uh, bulk pockups throws an error. Uh, the idea is to fix the spaces. So I'll click, click on rename and delete the space. Uh, spaces at the end and also special characters, uh, those will throw error in Photoshop. Uh, do you have any other special characters? I think we do not have any special characters in the name. Click on start generating. 